get up in the morning. So it is Thursday and I am up and getting some work done and making my uh, coffee. So I got a comment last night about what is the difference between the Paula's Choice retinol with vitamin C and the different adapalene. And the difference is, the difference with different is that adapalene is a, is a retinoid that previously was only available by prescription. The retinol component in Paula's Choice uh, requires an additional activation step. So it's not as effective as the um, prescription strength retinoids like adapalene, tretinoin, and tazeratine or tazarac. Um, and different is adapalene. And it used to only be available by prescription, but you can now get it over the counter. Now guys, adapalene, when applied to the skin, has been shown to effectively concentrate in the oil gland within five minutes of application. And there it's active and, and begins working on the skin cells. So you can see how, how <clears throat> It's a far more um, specific and biologically active ingredient in comparison to what was previously available in your cosmeceutical um, line. So um, that's the difference. Um, basically, prescription retinoids are more effective. But you can get some benefit from using those cosmeceutical grade um, retinols for sure, but it's uh, not as it's not as efficacious as the prescription strength ones like adapalene, which you can now get over the counter. So. Anyways, I'm on my coffee here. But today is an admin day for me, so I get to catch up on work and, and patient-related uh, care things um, and uh, that sort of thing. So um, that's where I'm at right now. But it's shaping up to be another uh, summery day. I recently moved to Texas uh, this past summer, and um, I grew up in the South. So for the past, I don't know, 10 years or so, I've dealt with Colorado winters and then Northeast winters. So I decided uh, when I was looking for a place to set up shop that I wanted to be somewhere warm and that's why I chose Houston. Just another shameless plug for, for this city. I, I'm loving it more and more every day. Another thing I want to check out this this year, um, um, like the South Padre area of Texas, they do this like turtle release thing. I've always wanted to do that. Um, so if anybody here is like a Texan or has ever done that before, like I think the time to go is April, correct me if I'm wrong, because I want to try and plan some time to do it. There's a website where you can kind of stalk the turtles and find out when they hatch or whatever, so. But wouldn't that be fun to see the turtles? I want to do that, and I also want to go to Waco and check out the Magnolia store, so. Um, yeah, that's where we're at, guys. Well, hey guys, it is uh, one o'clock, and I've been working on the computer all morning, and um, I'm about ready to, I'm, gonna make myself some lunch here. And I thought I would try out the uh, Nacho Mom's Vegan Queso today. I got this on uh, Vitacost. Uh, if you guys have ever shopped there, you can get a ton of uh, vegan and gluten-free stuff. So uh, I have it linked down below if you're interested. But I had to try this. Um, it's uh, made here in Texas and Austin, so we'll, I'm gonna give it a whirl today. So I've really been loving that gluten-free bread recipe that I showed the other day, and it's so easy to just whip it up. Because I wanted to have it with the queso, instead of uh, the Italian herb Mrs. Dash, like I've been putting in it, I put the chipotle Mrs. Dash in it, so. So I'm just gonna slice up this bread. I'll show you guys here. It slices up pretty nicely. Um, I've been really happy with it. That's what it looks like on the inside, but it's pretty good. I think it'll be good. It's almost like, uh, one thing I want to do with it is make like French toast sticks out of it, but I think it'll be good for dunking in the queso, so. Um, I think I'll just keep these end pieces for myself. I don't slice the whole thing, that way it stays, uh, I feel like it stays moister that way. All right, so I just cracked into it, and um, it does kind of look like Velveeta. Green chili, tomatoes, green chilies, um, nutritional yeast, and some, Bases. All right. All right. I heated it up, and it actually looks like authentic. It actually looks like uh, like queso, guys. So here I'll show you. It's got like yellow bell pepper in it that kind of emulate cheese cur cheese. I don't know. It looks pretty good. So um, I've got that, and I'm gonna taste test it here. And then I've heated up some of my um, white gazpacho with the thyme on it. I realize the flavor combos are totally clashing, but um, I don't care. This soup, guys, uh, regardless of how this tastes, this soup is so freaking good. It's getting better every day. Like I'm kind of sad that tomorrow's my last day of eating this because I had. It made uh, five servings. <laughs> 
So I think next time I'll double the recipe. I don't know. It was really good. Um, but anyways, so... So yeah, I'm going to give this a whirl for you guys with my gluten-free bread here with the chipotle seasoning in it. So I'm going to dunk it in there. Kind of looks like queso, right? I don't know. Oh, it's actually really good. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I wouldn't say it tastes like Velveeta cheese, but it's really good. Like, it's basically a really good sauce. Um, and it does kind of have a subtly cheesy taste to it, probably from the nutritional yeast, but it's really good. Um, it'd really be good on, regardless of if you're vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or whatever um, dietary things you need, this stuff is a really good sauce. Um, whatever, you know, the way it's marketed may not be appealing to you, but give it a whirl. It's really good, guys. It's, I'm impressed. So, I got that at Vitacost. Um, Sort of like, Vitacost is sort of like iHerb. I've been enjoying both of those sites um, for getting stuff like this. I'm not gluten-free or vegan, but I love to try this stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna have this and um, get some work done here. All right, guys, I just rolled up to uh, Legree for my workout today. The strength training here on the Mega Former. Um, that's the vibe, you know. Um, anyways, hopefully get a good uh, strength. I got the curvis here with my uh, lemon water. Feeling like summer out, guys. Totally feeling springy here in uh, Tejas. Oh, on Twitter, somebody commented about the uh, Q&A mermaid tumbler that I've been using. Um, yes, that is inspired by her, guys. So uh, she has the pretty uh, mug for her uh, coffee and tea. But I myself need a, a more industrial um, Biggie American size for uh, my coffee. So I didn't get that. But the tumbler I'm loving. Oh, boy, guys. Well, another great uh, Legree class. Different instructor this time. Really changed it up. Uh, started with arms and uh, ended with obliques. So that was good. Have y'all ever done a mega former class? They're they're a bucket of laughs. Everybody's playing tennis. See, the mistake people make with putting stuff like this on is they get out of the shower and they take the towel and they pull off all the water off their skin. And um, then they get their skin dry and then they put the moisturizer on. Doesn't work as well when you do that because the purpose of, of this cream, guys, is to seal the water in. Um, so, to remind you guys, tonight we are uh, doing the different difference. Uh, this is the Adapalene 0.1% uh, retinoid that I'm doing every other night. And to remind you, I washed my makeup off in the shower and then immediately slathered this on my face. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer, which I like. Now my face is dry, moisturized, and receptive to receive the retinoid, okay? You also want to grease the orifices. That's important. Um, that's what we're using here. Now, this is, I'm putting it on the side of the side. But FYI, you know, this 0.1% adapalene is the lowest percentage strength. Studies show that the low, do, the low strength of adapalene is just as effective as the higher strengths in most cases for, for treating the acne, but with fewer side effects. And when there are fewer side effects, people use the cream more often because they're not dealing with peely skin, so. Um, and it, also the studies show that using uh, topical retinoid just a few nights a week, if that's all you can stand, it still gives you some benefit. Because like I mentioned this morning, this guy is, is just, see, in a matter of five minutes, my, my sebaceous gland is going to be, is going to be, its belly's going to be full with that retinoid molecule just going to work. Just going to work, okay? So a couple of nights a week actually is, is still effective, so don't be beating yourself up. Well, hey guys, I'm here on the couch. The Burt's Beast candles are on sale at Kroger now, so go and get you one, guys. I think they were like, buy two, get one free. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I think that's a pretty good deal. I think I'm gonna have more of that uh, queso for dinner tonight. I think I'm gonna have that with, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a, a tofu scramble southwestern-y over uh, 
and have that queso. Oh, that sounds good. All right, I'm obviously I'm getting hungry. The the Legree has kicked in. Guys, you've got to try Legree. If, if do you guys do any kind of fitness thing that you like? Um, spinning's kind of fun. I haven't tried aerial yoga yet. Have you guys done that where you hang upside down? I think that'd give me vertigo. Um, but it looks quite challenging. I like to change up the. I like to have a little change up in the fitness routine. You know, so. Otherwise, I just get kind of bored in the gym. But anyways, I'm going to conclude the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.